Hello, I am Cristina and we are going to talk about prepositions. One of the most common problems when speaking English is the use of prepositions. The aim of this lesson is to provide different classifications of prepositions and some examples about their use. First of all, let's see what prepositions are. Prepositions are a group of words used before nouns and pronouns to form phrases that give more information about a verb, noun or other phrase, usually expressing a relationship of time, place or others. There are three kinds of prepositions, prepositions of time, prepositions of place and other prepositions. I'll begin by prepositions of time. We have the preposition on with the usage for days of the week, for example on Monday. The preposition in for months, seasons, time of, time of day, year after a certain period of time, for example in August or in 1993. The preposition at for night, for weekend, a certain point of time, for example at night, at the weekend, at half past three. The preposition since, from a certain point of view, for example, since 1998. The preposition for, over a certain, certain period of time, for example for two years. The preposition ago, a certain time in the past, for example two years ago. And the preposition before earlier than a certain point of time, for example, before 2004. Then the preposition to, in the usage of telling the time, for example, 10 to 6. The preposition past, telling the time to, for example, 10 past 6. The prepositions to, till, until, for making the beginning and end of a period of time, for example, from Monday to till Friday. And prepositions till, until, again, in the sense of how long something is going to last. For example, he is on holiday until Friday. The preposition by, in the sense of at the latest, or up to a certain time, for example, I will be back by 6 o'clock, or by 11 o'clock, I had read 5 pages. Now we'll move on to prepositions of place. We have the preposition in, the usage, room, building, street, town, for example, in the kitchen or in London, for book, paper, etc., in the book, car or taxi or picture wall, for example, in the car, in the picture. Then the preposition at, meaning next to by an object, for example, at the door, for table, at the table, for events, at a concert, or place where you are to do something typical, for example, at the cinema or at work. The preposition on. For example, attach the picture on the wall for a place with a river, for example, London lines on the Thames, being on a surface, on the table, for a certain, for a certain side, for example, on the left, for a floor in a house, on the first floor, for public transport, on the bus, or on the plane, on the car, for television, radio, on TV, on the radio. The prepositions, prepositions by, next to or beside, the usage of left or right of somebody or something, for example, Jane is standing by next to or beside the car, the preposition under, the usage on the ground, lower down or covered by something else, for example, the bar is under the table, the preposition below, lower than something else but above ground, for example, the fish is below the surface. The preposition over, which is covered by something else, for example, put a jacket over your shirt, meaning more down, over 16 years of age, getting to the other side, for example, walk about over the ridge, or over overcoming an obstacle, for example, climb over the wall. The preposition above, higher than something else, but not directly over it, for example, a path above the lake. The preposition across, the usage of getting to the other side, for example, walk across the bridge or swim across the lake. The preposition through, something with limits on top, bottom and the side, for example, drive through the tunnel. The preposition t t to, the usage of movement to person or building, for example, go to the cinema or move movement to a place or country, for example, go to London or for pray go to bed. The preposition into, the usage of enter a room or building, go, for example, go into the kitchen or go into the house. Preposition towards, 
in the usage of movement in the direction of something, for example, go five steps towards the how, house, the preposition onto for movement to the top or of something, for example, jump onto the table, the preposition from, in the sense of where from, for example, a flower from the garden. And finally, let's look at other prepositions. For example, the preposition from, in the usage of who gave it, for example, a present from Jane, the preposition of, in the usage of who or what does it belong to, for example, a page of the book, or what does it show, the picture of a palace. The preposition by, who made it, for example, a book by Mark Twain, and the preposition on, walking or riding on horseback, for example, on foot on horseback, or entering a public transport vehicle, like get on the bus. The preposition in, in entering a car or taxi, getting the car. The preposition of, for leaving a public transport vehicle, for example, get off the train, and the preposition out of, in the usage of leaving a car or taxi, get out of the taxi. The preposition by, in the usage of rise or fall of something, for example, prices have risen by 10%, or traveling other than walking or horse riding, for example, by car, by bus, by taxi. Preposition at, for example, in the usage of 4 age, for example, she learned Russian at 45, and the preposition about, for topics, meaning what about, for example, we were talking about you. These are all the prepositions. I hope this mm, presentation is useful for you and thank you for your attention.